Kate's Bunny, it is time for my March favorites video and I'm actually filming it in my jam jams. You're welcome. So I feel like I have a ton of favorite things and it's kind of like a weird eclectic mix just like my life. So I'm just gonna jump right in and tell you guys my favorite things. At the top of my list, maybe one of my most favorite, favorite things I found at Walmart on an end cap and it's actually a sunscreen. But this is a little bit of a different sunscreen product because it's meant specifically for people with tattoos. So this is the Copper Tone Tattoo Guard Sunscreen Stick and I don't know about you guys but I absolutely love these sunscreen sticks. I've actually bought one before specifically to use on my tattoos but I don't know if this is like all tattooed people or just me. I'm always extremely nervous especially when I'm vacationing anything like that. I'm like is this sunscreen okay to put on my tattoo? Am I gonna get a burn on my tattoo? I just freak out about it all the time so I'm glad that this takes the guesswork right on out of that situation. I was told before when I first got my tattoos to use baby sunscreen on those areas but still I'm just glad. I don't know. I feel like this is like just for my life. The next thing is actually some drinks and I've mentioned in a couple of my other vlogs that I've been crazy about my Keurig coffee automatic coffee making machine and the machines are normally like $175 but Macy's had it $75 off and there's also a $25 rebate so I got the whole machine and it's like a super fancy model for 75 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. So I'm just gonna tell you guys my two favorite flavors that I've been drinking every day just in case you have one of these machines or you've been thinking about getting one. If you're thinking about getting one, get one. You won't regret it. I swear. It's like fun to make the coffee and I like the flavor of these drinks better than Starbucks. Not gonna lie. So my favorite coffee is this little donut shop one. It was actually the very first one that I tried. This is honestly what promulgated me to buy the machine. It tasted that good. And the drink that I drink more often even than the coffee is the Celestial Seasonings Perfect Iced Tea. They actually have a Southern sweet tea, black tea. It's so delicious and it's so quick to just make this. I don't even have to put sugar in it or anything else. Wait for water to boil. I just put this little pod in there and it makes me an instant glass of goodness to drink. Ah, sippy sippy. I've actually been drinking an absurd amount of these a day. I think I've been having like three or four of these every single day. It's madness. It's like a trap. My next monthly favorite is kind of weird. It may not be everybody's thing, but I found a new Etsy store on Etsy this month that has a lot of really awesome vintage stuff. One is vintage mug shots. Look at how freaking handsome this guy is. He got arrested in 1956 for stealing a car. I took this off my wall so I could show it to you guys, but I'll have this store linked in my info box just in case you guys want to check it out. It's also where I got my hippie pins that I put in an outfit video last week or a week or so ago. I don't know. It's just really cool to shop there. I honestly check this Etsy store every single day to see if they've put anything new or just super fun stuff like that. Next favorite is a recent find and I'm so glad I found this. I love the way this stuff smells. It is the Airwick Grand Canyon Cactus Flower with Warm Breezes and I thought this was like a room spray or just an air freshener spray but it's actually meant for the Freshmatic Ultra which I don't have but I figured I can just spray it with my finger whatever just spray it whenever I want but Somebody tweeted me the other day and somewhere in the world they do make this scent in the wall plug-in kind and I'm gonna keep an eye out when I'm like traveling on the road next month and see if I can find the wall plug-in but until now this will have to do. Ah. 
I'll tell you what it smells like. It smells like an indie nature spiritual blog on Tumblr. The next things are pretty much all makeup items. I don't know, maybe I have some other stuff. I got to try out some balm products this month from The Balm. They sent me over a little care package, which I'm really thankful for because I've always been curious about that brand, but it's kind of a hit or miss where you can find it. Sephora used to sell it, now they don't, at least mine doesn't. So the only place that I can find these products out in the world is at Beauty Brands. I actually posted a picture of the different products that I got, like the little boxes on Instagram the other day, and a lot of you guys were asking me what my favorite products were or for a review, so I thought I would just stick my favorites in my monthly favorites video. My favorite product from the balm is Staniac in the shade Prom Queen. I think it's the only lip stain shade that they make. I'm not sure if they make another shade, but it's a dark berry red color. And it's so funny, the first time I saw this, I thought it was called Staytanic, and I was like, ugh, that sounds kinda satanic. But it's not, it's Staniac, and I think it's supposed to be like, she's a Staniac, Staniac. I'll stop there, but you get what I'm saying? I actually like this product even better than the Revlon Just Bitten lip stain that I've been using for a couple years now. I feel like this product lasts even longer than that product and it's also a little bit thicker which may sound disgusting to some people. Like you don't really know that it's thicker when you're putting it on if that makes any sense. It just seems to cover better. It's not as watery and it seems to last longer through like eating and copious amounts of talking and everything else that you do on a daily basis. Drinking with straws. I don't know. This seems to hold the color better. That's all I gotta say about that. The next favorite balm product is the Mary Luminizer and I think pretty much everybody and your mama has tried this before who has tried balm products. There's been a lot of raves about this product. It's got really cute packaging. Their entire line actually has really cute packaging. I just love everything about it. It's almost kind of pearlescent and when you put it on your skin it just gives you this kind of like heavenly magical glow. Sometimes I've noticed in the past other luminizers that I've tried you dust them on and you really can't tell a difference like if you're wearing a luminizer or not but this one, you can definitely tell it gets the job done and it stays on a really long time, like all day long. And the next thing that I tried that I don't even know is available anywhere in stores yet or not, I kinda need some extra information about this. It is a balm hair product and I actually looked for other balm products after they sent me this. Like I wanted to know if they had a dry shampoo, stuff like that, like other things that I use. So I think that this is called En Root. I'm not exactly sure if that's the entire line of balm hair care products, if it's called En Root or if this is just called En Root. I don't know. This is a hairspray. It takes a lot to wow me with a hairspray, but see, this holds my curls really well through heat and humidity. We've been getting a couple days of rain here on the swamp the past couple days, so it's been really hot and humid, and it takes a really good hairspray for it to keep my hair intact through those kinds of elements. So this is second day curl after using this hairspray. I really like the texture of it. I know this may not appeal to everyone, but it has a really coarse texture. Like when you spray it on, you can feel it. It's not like a hard, gross feeling, but it's like particles in your hair. I don't know. I like it. I feel like it's working. It's lightweight. It doesn't make your hair look like dance recital crispy or anything, but it holds. I don't know. I really like it. Last couple things. I'm not sure if I put this in a monthly favorites or not before, but I was using it for a while and then I didn't use it and now I'm like rekindling that romance. It is the Benefit What's Up and this is a really small travel sized one that I got in a makeup kit a few months back. I either like things that spray or things that are in stick form. So it's kind of like a little luminizing cream in a 
lipstick. I've been loving this ever since I switched over to my no foundation makeup routine. I've been loving to take this and go through underneath my brows and it just kind of brightens them and shapes them, makes them look a little bit more shapely, draws a little bit of light to my eye area. I love it. You put it on and it doesn't move. It's not greasy. It's not gross. It's really good. It's highly concentrated. I like it. My last makeup favorite is a drugstore product. I finally was able to find this at HEB. It's definitely been my favorite mascara that I've tried in a long time. It's the Physicians Formula Organic Eyewear Fake Out mascara and I don't know if it's like everybody well I know not everybody has allergies but in the spring my allergies have just been going crazy off the Richter scale and it was like every mascara I was wearing my eyes would just feel really itchy and watery and gross. Physicians Formula is really into all that organic hypoallergenic type stuff and I really have to vouch for this ever since I switched over to this mascara my eyes haven't been watering or itching and I haven't been getting like headaches that I would associate with makeup type things. I don't even know if that's like a normal conclusion to jump to but it just seemed like days I was wearing mascaras and makeup were days that I was getting headaches. So I don't know. I'm just gonna have to vouch for this stuff and say that it works wonders. The applicator is kind of a thick wand which I like. It's good at separating the lashes. It seems to kind of curl my lashes. It does have a false lash effect. I love everything about it. So my next monthly favorite I got at the thrift store but I have to mention it because it is definitely a bin my favorite bag of the month. I have been loving this thing. I paid two dollars and fifty cents for it at the thrift store. It looks like a little doctor's satchel but I've practically been carrying this thing every single day so go thrifting my darlings it pays off it's so wonderful you never know what you're gonna find so that is it I hope it wasn't like super duper overload I feel like I was like blah, 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 for a really really long long time I love you guys so much I hope you had a great month in March I hope you had a good spring break for those of you who had spring break I know some of you have spring break in April so I don't know I hope you had a good spring break or I hope you're gonna have a good spring break I will see you tomorrow please take a minute to subscribe hit that button become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings also if you want you can like me on Facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on Twitter Tumblr or Instagram at graveyard girl and I will see you guys later bye